This tea is so rich in antioxidants, it lowered creatinine by 4.52 points in 1918 patients. Drink it and make your kidneys 10 years younger. Catherine here, I'm a doctor in natural medicine and today we are going to take a look at some of the healthiest drinks for your kidneys. What truly sets these beverages apart is their astounding antioxidant content. And don't miss the number one in particular because that tea is so rich in antioxidants that it lowered creatinine in 1918 patients. But why are antioxidants so important, you may ask? Well, because science says so. Yeah, not the answer you were expecting, but let me explain. The main pathway in which diseases such as diabetes and high blood pressure damage the kidneys is a process called oxidative stress, alright? This happens when there are too many free radicals and too little antioxidants in the body. But what if you start adding antioxidants, you may ask? Well, your kidneys are going to improve faster than you can say nephrologist. So let's see how to do that now with the five beverages number five is corn silk tea ah oh, corn silk for years we thought this stuff was just the corns bad hair day a simple waste product turns out we were wrong corn silk which is that stringy mess you rip off a fresh ear of corn and chuck into the trash is not a waste product not at all it is probably the healthiest part of an ear of corn. Let me explain. Recent research says tossing corn silk is like throwing gold down the garbage disposal because you see, the extract from this amazing natural product seems to have an incredible effect on the glomeruli, the filtering units inside the kidneys. Researchers believe that the potent antioxidant in corn silk work on a molecular level to repair the lining of the bladder and urinary tubules to reduce irritation and to increase urine secretion. Yeah, corn silk can basically repair the kidneys at a molecular level. This is in part possible because corn silk acts as the natural ACE inhibitor, so it will help lower blood pressure as well. Other studies have found molecules in corn silk that can also fight the damage diabetes does to the kidneys. Unbelievable, right? All this time we've been teaching the healthiest part of the corn ear, a true corn copy of health benefits. But how do you turn this trash into treasure, you may ask? Easy! Just toss 2 tablespoons of corn silk into 2 cups of water. Bring it to a boil, then let it simmer down and steep for about 10 minutes. That's it! Bonus! Being the waste material it is, corn silk is dirt cheap. You can snag a 6 month supply on Amazon for a mere $19. Who knew good kidney health could be so affordable? Corn silk is considered safe but it can lower both your blood pressure and your serum potassium so always monitor these levels if you want to benefit from corn silk tea on a daily basis. Another tea you want to consider to drink every day is number four, hibiscus tea. Hibiscus tea is one of the best sources of antioxidants you can actually find on a supermarket shelves, which makes it one of the best tea you can find without a treasure map. And it comes with one gigantic perk. It fights hypertension like a knight slaying a dragon. I mean, you'll be surprised at the huge results this simple tea can give you. A review of studies found that hibiscus tea slashed blood pressure by an average of 7.58 over 3.53 millimeters of mercury, which is just amazing, if you ask me. Now, sure, there are other supplements out there that can help with blood pressure, but they are either coquitin or magnesium or they come with side effects that you need to account for. Meanwhile, hibiscus tea side effects Oh, brace yourself. It makes you pee more often because it's a natural diuretic. Terrifying, right? 
But wait, there is more. This tea doesn't just stop at giving your kidneys a workout. It can also lower your blood sugar levels pretty significantly, according to this large review of studies. So yeah, if you decide to make a viscous tea, your daily body just keep an eye on your blood pressure and blood sugar levels, which is something I recommend with most supplements in any case. I mean, with those supplements that actually work. Hibiscus tea isn't just a flower power beverage, it's a terrific way to boost your health. And as side effects, it acts as a natural diuretic and it lowers your blood sugar. With side effects like this, who even needs the positive effects, right? Ah, right, let's not forget, hibiscus tea can cut down your need for medications, which is a fancy way of saying it might save you a one-way ticket to dialysis land. Okay, up next time for our number three now, this tea comes with a pressing question. Why on earth isn't everyone drinking it already? I mean, I drink it every night and I love it. Number three is chamomile tea. Chamomile tea isn't just about whispering sweet nothings to your blood pressure with its calming vibes. It's also a treasure trove of antioxidants. And the effects these antioxidants can have on kidney health are incredible. Chamomile tea contains the antioxidant apigenin, which may help lower inflammation and reduce the risk of diseases. Plus, research is throwing confetti because chamomile tea might improve glycemic and lipid profiles in people with diabetes. So why isn't everyone drinking it already? And yeah, I hear you, all these teas seem to be overachievers, right? They tackle blood pressure, diabetes, inflammation. What's next, word peace? Well, there is a simple reason for the superhero status of the teas we are examining today. They're all bursting with antioxidants. That's why they made the cut for this video. Because as I was saying in the intro, it's when you start neutralizing those pesky free radicals that you can really protect your kidneys. And how can you do that? You guess it, with antioxidants, because oxidative stress caused by excessive free radicals is how diabetes and high blood pressure damage the kidneys. Now guys, these teas also have other benefits. It's not just the antioxidants. And chamomile tea superpower is, of course, helping you sleep like a baby. But hey, I get it. You might be thinking, sleep? Who needs it? I'm all about that 4 a.m. productivity green. Quick nap at 7 a.m. and back to the hustle. Sure, that works. I mean, if your goal is to wreck your kidneys, you're right on track. Poor sleep or getting less than 5 hours a night is strongly linked to a higher risk of CKD and a faster decline in kidney function. Yep, science says so. So if you needed one more reason to get a little more sleep, here it is. Okay, time for our number two now. This is a juice that tackles a problem too many CKD patients are facing. UTIs, yes, urinary tract infections, the unwanted house guests of the bladder that just don't know when to live. Never dismiss UTIs just as a painful inconvenience. They are known to cause kidney damage in two ways. First, because if left untreated, UTIs can reach the kidneys and wreak havoc inside them. I mean, the kidneys are directly connected to the bladder and bacteria know this very well, unfortunately. And trust me, you don't want a pyelonephritis, a fancy term, for a kidney infection that feels like your insides are auditioning for a slasher film. To make matters worse, the antibiotics used to control UTIs can also double as kidney wreckers. I mean, it's like using a wrecking ball to get rid of a wasp nest. Sure, the wasps are gone, but so is your wall. And here's the cherry on top of this misery Sunday. CKD patients are three times more likely to get UTIs than everyone else. Talk about drawing the short straw. What to do then? Well, focus on prevention by drinking cranberry juice. For ages, people have sworn by this tart elixir 
as a UTI fighter. And guess what? Science finally caught up. A study compiling data from 50 other studies with 8,857 participants, because apparently we needed that many, found that cranberry juice actually reduces the risk of repeat UTI symptoms significantly. This is fantastic news because let's be honest, UTIs are a nightmare and the treatment can feel like a bad sequel. So if you never had a UTI, chug that cranberry juice like it's the elixir of life because for your kidneys, it just might be. Okay guys, time for our number one for today. Drum roll please. This magical brew you see here is the tea that has worked wonders for 1918 patients by lowering their creatinine levels. And the star of the show is Panax Noto Ginseng Tea, which is actually nothing like the run of the meal ginseng you may have tried in the past. No, this is Panax Noto Ginseng. And I know that it sounds like a spell from Harry Potter. Expecto! but it's actually a very legit remedy. In fact, thanks to the saponins this root contains, people suffering from diabetes are going to get incredible results when they start to drink this tea. This type of ginseng has huge positive impact on the way the body produces and absorbs glucose, and it can reduce insulin resistance, as we can see. And it will also reduce creatinine faster than you can say, expecto patronum. Now, before I show you how to turn this into this, I need to show you how to find this. But when I talk about ginseng, most people think about the ginseng they drink as an alternative to their morning tea. But that's not the ginseng we are here for today. No, the ginseng we are here for today is called Noto Ginseng and it has been used for centuries as a remedy for heart and kidney health. So bear with me for a moment. There are mainly three types of ginseng and while all of them have some health benefits, only one was used to lower creatinine in those 1918 patients. Let's take a look. This one in the middle is Panax Red Ginseng. This one's like the rare truffle of ginseng. It has stimulating properties and it has health benefits, but it's rare and expensive and it's not what we are looking at today. This one on the right is Asian ginseng. It's the Starbucks of ginseng stimulating, affordable and everywhere. Asian ginseng is what people drink most often in teas and coffee preparations. It tastes great, but it's not the star of our show today. Now, take a look at this one on the left. This is it, the crown jewel, Panax Noto Ginseng. It has incredible circulatory and blood sugar lowering benefits that people with diabetes can absolutely benefit from. Question, how do you prepare a ginseng tea that works? First, you need to find good Panax Noto Ginseng. Larger roots are usually more pricier and better than smaller pieces. Once you have found Panax Noto Ginseng and you are sure it's what you are looking for, you just need to make tea. Now, dried ginseng is very hard to cut, but if you boil some water and steam the ginseng for five minutes, it will become very easy to cut in pieces. If you take a look at the inside of the ginseng you are cutting, it should be white. That's a sign that it is good quality. To make a ginseng tea that really helps with kidney function, we need to prepare a decoction. A decoction is what naturopaths do to make herbal ingredients more powerful. Ginseng pieces need to soak in water for two to four hours before making the tea or even overnight. Now they're ready to boil. When the water boils, reduce the heat and let simmer for about one hour. Strain the ginseng, saving the water. This is our first decoction. Add another batch of water and repeat for the second decoction. Mix the first and second batches together. Keep the decoction in the fridge and drink within four to five days. At this point, the root may be chewable so you could try eating it or you could continue to more decoctions with it. And if you want to see more teas and beverages to protect your kidneys, this video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye!